after testing the covariance based structural equation modeling that is specific to smart pairs 4 and above we now move to uh, path analysis and process as you as you know within uh, spaces we have process macro by Hayes and here if we just double check this unified theory of uh, uh, acceptance and use of technology uh, we have this uh, path analysis that is process uh, you can see the square shapes of the uh, latent constructs you see the arrows uh, here that uh, indicate the relationship between the IV or independent variables to DV or dependent variables and you see the indicator or the indicators that are also called the uh, observed items so here we need to just uh, draw the model like this and then we can calculate the path analysis model uh, usually we can choose uh, standardized especially with the uh, uh, small sample sizes or mean centered or n standardized so here we could just keep it at standardized and then start calculating and here is the report you can see here the uh, path coefficients and its different display formats we have bar charts and these are the uh, path coefficients visualize you see visually which one is stronger than the other so we have behavioral intention and use so the second one the total indirect effect then we have the specific indirect effect and then we have the total effects and intercepts uh, in case you have intercepts or conditional direct effects in case they are in some models you can just find them here we have the r square that is the variance explained in the indigenous uh, variables or constructs by the exogenous variables or what we call the independent variables so here you just need to know the terminology this is the f square and the Cronbach alpha again you see some Cronbach alpha uh, values are low although this is a very famous model so you can expect the same and we have collinearity statistics via variance inflation factor that can be between three to five and should not go beyond five and uh, these are the focal variables and control variables etc so you see all the uh, parameters that are required for uh, the process macro by Hayes and then we have uh, bootstrapping we can have bootstrap at 5000 to 10000 or 1000 and we have different uh, parameters you should remember that uh, these parameters need to be reported once you are running the analysis for replication in the bootstrap we have the percentile bootstrap the studentized and the bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap so these are different algorithms if we keep the default ones the two-tailed here indicates the direction of the hypothesis uh, if the hypotheses have direction like positive impact or negative impact this is what we call a direction and if we have positive negative that is two-tailed if we have just one uh, direction that is either positive or either uh, or, or uh, negative this is what we call one-tailed and this is the p-value or the significance level so we could just start calculating and this is the uh, result you could see also the uh, original sample the t value and the p value all the p values are significant and also there is a threshold of the t statistics of one uh, point uh, uh, there are some decimals so this depend on threshold level uh, so this will also indicate significance I can share the exact value in the description box and this is the original sample or the beta coefficient along with the sample mean etc you can see that these numbers are quite similar uh, and these are the standard deviations uh, usually we just uh, report the beta coefficients t statistics and the p-values for these uh, path coefficients uh, this is the total the control variables if there are some control variables you will find them here control variables are usually associated with the dependent variables the total indirect effects here control variables we have gender age uh, socioeconomic status income among others and this is the total indirect effects like mean standard deviation t values and p values so 
This is the total indirect effects and we have the confidence intervals that are usually reported especially for medical uh, studies and the confidence intervals bias uh, corrected samples etc. The quality criteria involve R-square and R-square adjusted along with the uh, F-square for power estimation among others. So these statistics are uh, as they are called quality criteria and this indicates the quality of the model. So this is in brief the process uh, macro by Hayes and how this can be performed using Smart Pages 4 and above. Uh, if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you.